let's see how easy it is to get started with a new list. All I have to do is click this Create New List button at the top. From here, I have a bunch of exciting options. I can create a blank list, totally blank canvas for me to do whatever I want. I can create a list from an Excel file. So if I have an Excel file that's in my OneDrive or on my computer, I can upload it and take one of the tables of data from that Excel file, and I can create a brand new list from it. I can also create a new list from an existing list. So if I have an enterprising team member who's created a really cool list, uh, or if I've created a really cool list in the past and I wanna reuse it and tailor it for a slightly different purpose, I can pick from a list of lists here and I can create a copy of that list uh, as my new list. So here I have all the different team sites where there's, uh, where there's lists, I can browse through, I can find the one that I want and create a copy. But today we're gonna create a list from a template. You see here that we provide a set of purpose-built templates out of the box uh, to work a certain way. But think of templates as not an application that's frozen in place, but think of it as a starting point to help you realize your list-related dreams. When I click a list, I get a quick preview of what's inside. So you can see my issue tracker list is built to track things that are issues with columns like priority, status, a person that owns the issue, date reported, and all sorts of interesting information for tracking issues. The other templates are the same way. So if I click the asset manager list, you see this list is useful for tracking physical assets on a team, things that are my team owns, and maybe get assigned out to other people, uh, get rented out, get used for various purposes. But today we're gonna, we're gonna create an issue tracker list. So I'm gonna click issue tracker, click use template. And from here, I can customize it and make it mine. So let's call this the virtual summit issues list. I can pick a color. I'm going to give it uh, I'm going to give it the springtime lilac here and I'm going to give it this target icon because we want to stay on target. You see here I have a choice of where to save the list. The default option is my list. This creates a personal list for me that nobody else can access until I decide to share it with them. If I pull down this menu, I can pick any of my team sites to create a list inside that site, which if you've been a list user for a while, that's the sort of uh, workflow that you're used to create a list in a team site. But for me right now, I like to work in a personal space and share it later when I'm ready. So I'm gonna uh, keep it in my list and just create it there. So when I click create, you see I get by default all the columns that I was seeing in the preview. And from here, it's time to get to work. This is the fun part. So I'm going to enter the quick edit view. This is the quickest way to quickly customize the schema and get some data inside of the list. So I'm just going to do a couple customizations here. I want to make this date reported column one of my first columns. So I'm going to drag it to the left and I'm just going to paste some data in. I have some data already in my clipboard from Excel and uh, pasting is lightning fast. It's my favorite way of getting data inside of lists. One thing I can do that's new inside of lists, if you've been a quick edit user for a while, is I can choose between a couple of different layouts. So by default, uh, it's configured to auto fit height. Uh, if I can go to fixed height to fit more rows on the screen at once and make every row the same height. So this is really nice if you have a long list and you don't want some long description taking up a bunch of space on your screen. For now though, I'm gonna go back to auto fit and I'm gonna start filling out my data here. So uh, I can pick priority high, I can click down to fill down, and I'm just going to go and fill out some, some, uh, some different fields here, customize my data. I can make things in progress. I can mark things as completed. It's great, my team has been busy. And I can mark certain things as blocked. I can type in a name. I'm just going to go ahead and assign these issues to myself because I'm industrious. And I'm going to assign one to my team member, Michaela. And again, I'm gonna use this slick fill down capability to quickly fill out data. And you see here, this list is customized with a little bit of cool formatting that shows the picture of the person uh, just to make things a little bit more compact and visually engaging. You can see here that the list is working in, uh, in the background to apply formatting, uh, business logic on top of the data that I'm entering. You see here that it's highlighting uh, issues in red, uh, issues that I've marked as blocked. It's applying this red highlight really to shine a spotlight on things that really need your team's attention. I think this is looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think this list looks great. 